Welcome to Lazarus Life, the creator event. An event where everything depends on currency, but we're not talking about scrap, we're talking about money. With spawning in a town where you can buy housings, clothing, furniture, and even get a job to afford all of your needs, it's important to get such a job such as a miner or a lumberjack to even be able to afford anything at all. Lazarus has brought a new way to play Rust where the only way to get such things as components or at the bottom of the sea in a PvP zone or an easy way to get money would be to have a job or become a criminal. But with players all around you becoming police officers, you will have to tread carefully because with too many criminal activities, you might actually end up in jail. But as the title of this video clearly states, I plan on becoming the biggest cartel in this event, which means that I will have to farm plants inside of PvP zones all around the map, take them to a gang hideout, which declares to the entire server that I'm processing all of these goods, and then I gotta take my resources to the black market to make as much money as possible. And with many different housing options, such as a small storage unit up in town, a cute little house in a village, or even a large building to work out of, I personally plan on buying the biggest base that the server has, also the most expensive. It's a massive hangar that costs a fortune, but inside of it, I'll be able to farm with my horses for currency, grow my own products safely, and store away all of my loot behind as many doors as possible. The bigger the house basically means the more doors there is to raid, and we don't want to get raided, but we might want to raid somebody. All of this might sound really confusing, it did for me starting off personally, but simply sit back and relax, and let's get this adventure started. Only job I have this event is to shoot everyone and target cops. What's in the warehouse? This door is kind of cool. I'll fuck with this door. First time home buyer. You've now stumbled across player property. These are all purchase. Simply walk inside and open the real estate application on your phone. Purchase price. God damn, it's just also thank you guys so much for the support recently. And if you are enjoying, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, let's just buy a car. Oh, you can rent them too. Okay, wait, well, if you can rent them, how much is renting price then? But rent like oh let's what happens if it gets cooked? After familiarizing myself with my new home, I went over to the animal hideout to hunt some beers with my car. And then I ran into a friend of mine at the mining site while he was working away. And then I headed over to the site to see how the really worked on the server, just so I would have a proper understanding of it when the PvP actually started happening. It's the recycler rats. There's another guy here too. He's a gamer. He's got the Revy on him. Hello. What would you even do at this place? Oh, this is where we process and shit. Can you use this? I'm just capturing it so I can... Uh, I'm in the middle of capturing, so if you try to, I will have to shoot. Just warning, this is a KOS zone. Yeah, I figured. So typically people will just shoot you on site here. Who knows? Maybe you just yeah, don't have bullets. Cool, Maybe it's a scare factor. You kind of just go crazy here. Because I assume the second I leave the zone, I'm good. After meeting a nice fella at the gang hideout, I was intrigued by this business and I had to get involved. So I ran to the closest field, which was the, you know, the little grass. I don't know if I can say it on YouTube. And I started picking it away. So I could then go back to the hideout after he cleared out and try to run it myself for some quick cash to start off my adventure as a cartel leader. I think we did good, guys, by doing this early game. Oh, forgot. Oh, let's go. Here we go. Open processor. Process. 30 seconds. That's a long ass time to wait. I can't lie to you. Open processor. What the hell is that? That is a funny looking picture. It looks like a bunch of sticks. Am I supposed to pack this in some way? I might have been it. I might have been. Oh, there we go. Uh, add all. 1,540. Boom. Easy money. And then apparently I can just do like 9999 and then deposits. 2,400. Now, after doing my first trade with the funny business, it was unfortunately time for Verdi to get a 9 to 5. The reason is that in this game, there is a system. So under mining, you have to get to level 15, basically just farm ore and sell it to the, you know, whoever it is we sell it to. And then do the same for Lumberjack, which is farming wood to upgrade your tasks, to be able to farm different resources, such as coal to make ammo and all these extra things. So for the next while, I did nothing but farm and farm and farm and farm and farm and farm. And farm.
Now, after farming for literally hours and it wasn't even half the farm that I would have to do to finish off my project, Alk finally logged on and we wanted to do something else. So we headed over to the dive site, which where you can get both components and these things called dirty relics, which is basically a vodka bottle that you can also process at the gang area to also make more money on illegal businesses. I think the guy that you said you saw is just uh a guy ai yeah there is a car there though yeah Look right on the yeah 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 right there one dead one on he's, yeah yeah there's one on top this left or right uh he's on he's by the guy he's dead too too dead uh a car just drove away there's another car still i'm gonna go loot this kids this guy has oh al we gotta go Al, we gotta go where we going uh, you get it all? Gone. We just gotta go. I got the majority of it. I, I brought a row. Actually, we're gonna go two rows. So after pulling up to the gang hideout and Alk clutching up, taking out everybody, we ended up with so many bottles of vodka, we didn't even know where to put them. So we put the car slightly further away as you just saw, and we headed back and back and back until we processed every last bit of it. And then we were gunning it straight for black market, hoping that this would actually pay off quite well. Oh, it's not. Oh, no, yeah, it is under illegal. 20 scrap, about $20 a piece, it seems. Oh, okay, so I'm only getting, uh, not only, but 420 is uh, 8,400. So I got 8,400. And then we got to count the fact that we also got like six, 7,000 scrap. So I like 25K ish. And we got guns. And we got guns, which is worth a lot. So after making a quick buck, it was time to move on. Unfortunately, we didn't know at the time the vodkas are the least expensive items in the game on the black market. We didn't make that much, but guns on the other hand, one SAR goes for 3,500 a pop and so for all other tier 2 guns. And ammo is super expensive unless you get a high tier mining so you can actually craft ammo. So nonetheless, we made a $30,000 plus minus profit nonetheless and we were on a high roller at this point. So we decided to head into town and rob a grocery store just the man clear the back so many entrances oh there's only one no two entrances now there is no entrance back there i'm pretty sure back there is just no then there's just that one there the garage and then this one yeah, let me get up let me double check though you know this is not an entrance this is just uh yeah so it's just a garage in this side then it's a cop it's a cop hey let's talk let's talk there's the police let's talk ain't nothing to talk about Logan. Let's talk. Oh, there's another one at the door. There's another one at the door. Dead. Nice. Actually, only said you can now damage. We got five stars, by the way. You do. You do. Wait, what happened? Oh. Did we get money? Check your check your thingies. He's dead. Oh, okay. Dead. You get two hundred dollars for killing cops. Did we not get? Did you not get money? Oh, maybe it ended. No, I said I got too far away. Maybe I can't push all the way to the door. They just opened here. He's dead. I don't have the bullets for this. Let's let's go to roof. Let's go to roof. Let's go to roof. Oh, we ain't making it out of this one, Elk. I got drugs on me. I got pills on me. And sh I got one and a half clip on me. But I'm getting aimed at. What? God. Car? That's another cop car, Alk. You got named that? Headshot bodied. Dead. Hit him once, twice. Nice. Nice. I have 12 bullets left, Alk. We need to go. Yeah, make a run for it here, I think. Yeah. Wait, down the sewers. Oh my god, I almost killed. No way, I'm dead to that. No thing. way! He just. Yeah, I hit him four times, but he killed me. Now, in the heat of the moment, a lack of bullets and cops surrounding us, I unfortunately died to spikes. 
Now, once that was all said and done, we headed on to a new adventure. First, we went over to the Magic Bush Zone and we bought ourselves a very nice condo right next to it, which would make it a lot easier for us to farm the magic thingies, which we did right after. And then we went to the processor to process it all and then headed over to the black market just to be greeted by even more cops. You don't belong here. This ain't your place of business. Yeah, who let the Fed in? I'm just trying to withdraw some money. I live close. I'm just withdrawing some cash. Oh, what's the cop? What's the cop Hello. doing at the black market, huh? Hello. Ryan. Whoa, whoa, what? What's happening over here, guys? Are you seeing? This is weird. Yeah, Why are you requesting my ID card? That's a bit weird. If uh, the cartel could leave for a little bit. You're in my place of business. Y'all are in my. Y'all are in my place of business. Hello, who, person on the heli, help, help, help. Can you can you call the government or How someone or, or police? Oh, is that the oppressive I'm being, I'm being trapped officer? against yeah. my will. I control the skies I'm, now, uh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Can't get me now. I'm being oppressed <laughs> by police. Can't get me now, this can you? Right, 15K for Coco. Now, after being harassed by the cops at the black market, we were right back on business. We went straight to the field again farm even more magic resources but little did we know the cops might have already known where we were headed because they were there waiting oh, okay i just got run over ran over yeah by the police oh my buddy oh, there's hella police there's hella yeah. police one's done We got a runner, we got a runner, we got a runner, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4, got a runner. Hold all of them, I think. I'm gonna run Alk. Gosh, is the rap, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run Alk. <laughs> I gotta go. I don't know how to do this one. I have no more meds. Like, I don't know what to do here. How do I get back? I don't have any, I have 16 bullets and no meds. You know, they actually pulled up with the entire squad. That was honestly probably the entire police force is on right now that just pulled up on us the entire police force just pulled up now after fighting the entire police force and barely making it out it was time to upgrade it was finally time all the drugs have been sold we had a hundred k to our name we bought the big big house inside of this house i'll be able to grow both the magic stuff and I'll be able to have a horse farm, a bunch of stuff. It is absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait for you guys to see it in a very short second. The only issue is there is no lights in here. As you can see, it is very dark. So I headed over to the safe zone. I bought myself some solar panels and some big lights. So we can start setting up some lights and campfires around because it is so damn dark in here. Now the rest of day one we basically just farmed even more than what i just showed you and as you can see on the screen now i didn't actually go to bed on the first day i really didn't sleep at all throughout the event i had so many hours throughout this event it was honestly I'm, I, I had a good sleep when it was all said and done but very early in the morning i had a police officer bait me i guess he just really didn't like the cartel He doesn't die there. That's actually crazy. Like a fish into the trap. With five invalids. That's crazy. I'm going to go to prison. I'm going to prison, guys. Look at that. I'm going straight to jail. I hope. I hope we're going to jail. I want to go to jail. Look at that combat log, though. It's actually crazy. Welcome to Verdi on the EU. Welcome to Verdi on US servers. I should go silly. You will be serving some time in jail, buddy. I'll tell you that much. I'll take you to the real prison. Don't worry. 
Now, unfortunately, I uh, can't get out of this, else you will bug out. So I'll send you from prison through car, okay? Hi, it's... We're breaking out. Am I doing this right? Mine one stone wall. Mine one stone wall. You know how it's not long. There's no way it's like a full health wall, right? That shit can't be a full health wall, right? We're not doing that. I hope it gives me a jacket and lets me keep it. Better stone pickaxe. Mine one stone wall with the tools collected. Oh, that's actually crazy. That's a real wall. I'm going to get out. I don't want to get out of prison. I want to stay here. What the hell? I've been released already. I didn't even get to... Didn't even get to break out. And I get to keep my kids. What the hell is that? After going to prison, I took some time to reflect on my decisions and I went to farm a bunch of wood. I went to underwater with my girlfriend and we just kept on progressing. When Alf logged back on and she went to bed, there was an underwater treasure hunt on the map, which basically is an underwater thing with a bunch of good loot, but it's guarded by sharks. So we headed down there to see what we could get done. Right, he's honest, he's honest. I hit him. Hit him again. Now he's coming, now he's coming. Straight for my face. Okay. Hit him again. I'm gonna die again. Thank you. I see another one. I missed. I, I hit it. I missed. I missed. Coming back. Another one. Hit him. Good shit. Oh, nice. We got a Loki soft heal so we can take maybe one HP. Kind of just chilling. Yeah, it's chilling right there still. We have arrow. Oh, actually, no, we don't. I only have four left. Let's keep oh, I see him. Oh, he's gone. He's, he's, he, oh, the shark's gone as well. So to clear up some confusion, what we just got is gold bricks, which can be sold at the black market for a good chunk of chain. And the diamond can either be sold at the black market or used to craft specific items like chainsaws and jackhammers. And after getting back to base with the riches, we headed straight for the gang hideout to get control over it so we could sell even more magic mushrooms. We know where the f they're going. We get it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. One's pushing again. We're doing the same shit as last time. So one's yeah. pushing and one's hitting up hell. I shot him. I shot buddy. Uh, one more pushed. Hit him I shot buddy. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. He's so low. He went behind the. Uh, he went by bunker. Yeah. Guys on the hill. I shot hell. Star's dead, but I'm low. There's one in building, like low somewhere. We're getting aimed at from way back in the streets. Is that him shooting at you? Yeah, yeah, team shooting me. I have like one mag left, basically. I was pushing, uh, I just don't have the I just keep getting beamed by everyone. He's dead. The one. I need meds here. Yep. So do I have none. You have none? No. Here. Dropped half. Right there. Now, after this PvP session, we did what we went there to do, and then we headed into Belksville to finally get ourselves a little bit of action. The city is nothing but PvP, and majority of it is KOS, and we were ready to have some fun. Actually? Yeah. Oh, he's enabled! Oh, what? my God, run! What is this place? Is this the thing? What That's is that? Police. That's the police station. Oh, what the hell? You're hanging about? Are you crazy? Shoot that Valk. Shoot him. Shoot him. No! Shoot him, Valk. You... Shoot no. at him. No. Spray him down. Door robbery here and the cops were just in, sitting on a roof. It's naked, no? Yeah, it looked pretty fucking naked. Got this tray here. The bloom go brr 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 brr. Oh, man. Oh, easy. Seconds. He's done. 
Okay, there's one on roof too. One on roof too. Roof is dead. He's not. I don't see him. Oh, wait a cross. Got you. There's two. Both dead. Get her both dead. Okay, so while we're fighting in Valksville, the server's about to fully crash out. So I'm gonna give a little bit of context. The admins were supposed to run a convoy event an hour prior to this recording, but that was delayed. And then somehow the entire server lost all of their doors to their bases, which was why we're currently loot inspecting our neighbors, but we didn't take anything as you'll see. But there was plenty of other groups who did take stuff from bases, and therefore the admins chose to give every player in the event $50,000, which makes no sense in an event where the entire point is to make money to buy gear and such for these set events. And because of that decision, the event crashed out real bad, and I was personally really upset at this because we grinded stupidly hard to try and win the convoy, and then the entire server is just equally progressed to where we are gun-wise because they could just buy guns and minis and helicopters with the money that we grinded for 32 hours for without any fucking sleep. I still hadn't slept to this point in the recording. It is day fucking two, end of the night. And in a span of seconds. So we decided to not participate in the event and rather just try and grief everybody else from participating in it because I was salty as hell. Yeah, they've taken it. Running down the street right now, kind of. I might have. I think I downed them. I headshot double bodied. Gotta be down. Naked running over. He's down. That guy running there. Yeah. Alright, he's, he's on. He's, he's gotta be dead. One. You have to declare, you have to declare, you have to declare, you have to declare. I, complete, I feel like this it shouldn't be like that in this zone. Like where we are right now. I, he's not declared, I guess. I, I don't get it. I tripled him and he just doesn't die. But he hits me and I do damage. Yeah, he just might have knocked uh, Astro. You have to declare. This is so stupid. He's not, we're just not peeking. Uh, was pushing Alpha? Was pushing? Yeah. I don't know what the f my game just did, but like it just made my gun aim up behind car. Dead. Under oh, dipping. <laughs> we got bombed. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, one survived. He survived. He survived. He's dead. Now, as day two of the event comes to an end, the majority of the event members would not actually attend to day three because of the server crashing out like it did. I, on the other hand, had plans of doing everything the server has to offer, including online raiding someone. But the first thing I did when logging on on day two was farming even more magic stuff. And then I went to a capture point to see how to use them so I could you know, simply learn them. And then after that, it was back to processing all of the magic stuff for later on. And after robbing a hotel and taking a capture point, processing a bunch of items, we ended up having enough resources after getting some wood to make the rest of the planner boxes needed to finish off my very own personal hideout to grow everything needed. Once that was all good, it was time for us to finally do something real exciting, which would be robbing a bank. Mm -hmm. Who are there? Who are there? Who are everywhere? We'll try to play semi-smart, I guess, because there is a player on. I don't even have weapon flashlights. But I assume the vent does the same. Well. Oh, yeah. You can do it now. Oh, you need a f***ing code cracker? Are you trolling? Time to figure out how to use this then. 
find the optional combination using the equation. Certain numbers may be greater or lesser than others. You have a limited number of attempts. The scratched out ones are not used. One is used, but not there. So maybe one is there. Greater than, less than. Baby, you're going to have to do this. My brain can't compromise. This is uh, not. Nah, nah, okay, nah, let nah, me nah. do it. Nah, me I, I got to try one more time because it's, it's already done now. This arrow means greater than sign. Greater or lower than sign. Like, am I good? What do you mean? Swapped it. The seven and the All right, six. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh. Now, I'm very happy that this server actually had low pop at the time because we sat here, me trying to crack this code for 30 minutes straight. I had the admins of the server in my chats. I had quite a few people in my stream. Everybody all together trying to figure out how to crack these damn codes. Let me know in the comment section if you figured it out before I did. I was kind of hoping this would give something fun. Like, like diamond is really good because you can craft specific things with it. So like, it's really good. Not right now. 17 gold bars is okay. I think they sell for 2005 a piece. So 2,500 times 17, that's not terrible. But like, after becoming professional bank robbers and code crackers, it was time to go home and finish off planting my berries, we'll call them. And then it was time to go find some tech trash. I went searching underwater for quite some time. You need tech trash to make C4s and C4s to raid the Federal Reserve and the bank and to raid players. So we had to find some. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it myself. But while I was going over to the metal detection area, I saw a player. Luckily for me, they had one. I just had to take it from them. And once that was good, we headed over to the Federal Reserve to raid that as well. You just park up here. It's hard to get back up. Or is it hard to get back up? There's a fucking rope. Ah, right, we gotta try to be fast here. Because we might get sit over for the next seven years. We're all in the wrong spots. Was left up or down? Where's the message of Jamal saying? He said, right is higher, right is lower. So this is supposed to be higher than this. So we do nine. No, that, that's not what we do. So yeah, higher, lower, lower, higher. So that, what if we do lower and then that's higher? Then we do five, six. That's the code. What? You think nine instead of five? Is this not it though? This gives me, this makes sense in my head. Am I stupid? Higher, lower, lower, higher. Because this is lower, higher, higher, lower. High, low, low, high, high, low. This could work. One is the only one in the right spots somehow. Five and six is wrong. Oh, okay, easy. So five and six. Here we go. 37, not too bad. Let me load up real quick and get some gear. Get some gear. Suicide shouldn't count. Nah, I completely agree. It sucks. I can't check my KD. Saying that I got a 0 0.4 KD is blasphemy and lies. So long story short, as you saw in chat, a cool guy called Scoob had just logged on and I started talking to him and he was casually at the black market when I went there to trade in my stuff. We ended up having a long conversation about whether or not he was down for me to come raid him. And after a while, he agreed. He did live in a tier one base though, which is the cheapest one. It's only two doors, two sheet doors to loot. But I didn't have that much boom anyways. Matter of fact, I had none. So it was right back out there to find more tech trash. We started in the water. And after the water, we went straight back to the metal detection site. But this time, I had to do it myself. There was no one there to help me. I sat there for quite some time. And once we finally had it, he also found one tech trash at the store that he robbed. So he gave that to me, very kind of him. And then it was time to see if we couldn't raid him. He's just leaving his own base. So basically to raid on this server, you need to literally hack their front door. And I don't know if y'all remember the last two times we hacked, but luckily for us, Scoob was a really cool guy and he allowed me to fully hack his door before raiding. I don't like that Lazarus enforces this to be a thing during raids because they basically count solos out. If Scoob wasn't a really cool guy, 
I would have just simply died hacking his fucking door. Band, if you wish. I'm mean, shooting me with axe blow. Because yeah, at that point, you can kind of just do this, can't you? You can kind of just hold it like that. And then, oh my god, his kids. Like, if you're two people reading these spaces, this is basically just one door. I feel like they got to move the bed back. I feel like one door is too cheap. There shouldn't be one door bases, like, at all. There just shouldn't be. I wasn't even shooting. I stopped shooting. Cease fire! Cease fire! It's done! Cease fire! Screw the cease fire. Going out with a bang. <laughs> I respect that. that. That bang did not end well for me. These houses, if you if you play here a lot, you gotta tell them to make these houses different. I can't lie. There needs to be a door yeah, to the bedroom. These, these houses, houses. One door raid, that's not that that ain't it. I raid one door here, you can't or spawn. Just make this into an actual garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that. No, but even then, if they go through your front. Now your front is airlocked. Yeah. Yeah, because that's cooked. One door, you're done. And that basically sums up my part on Last of Us for the event. I had a long and very exciting journey. Even though the server ran into some hiccups, some minor ones and some really big ones, I still had a blast. The rumor is that they're going to run it back once more. If you made it this far into the video, let me know in the comment section what Verdi should do in the next event that I will be playing in. Should I be a cop? What should I be? Let me know. Whatever you guys say I should be next time, I'm going to pursue.